All right, let me ask you a question. What's stopping you from tiling your own backsplash? You afraid of making a mess? Well, we made this video for you. So today is the first day of October, which means I'm super excited because for the next three months, I don't have to shave. Yeah, for my everyday job, I need to be clean shaven. So starting October 1st this year, I get to grow a beard. But today my excitement is being shifted by this product right here. So Lauren just talked me into getting this product called Muscle Bound. All right, it's not a new product, but it is just starting to become mainstream. For DIYers, it's a game changer. We bought it originally just to test out different patterns on this wall for our new backsplash. So we couldn't decide whether we wanted herringbone or straight tile or a subway 50-50 split. Um, so, or basket weave, we just we couldn't get on the right page. So Lauren said, why don't we get this? We can put it on, take it off if we don't like it. It was easy to put on, it was easy to take off. We didn't need mortar. The key is your wall has to be clean. Sand it down, get rid of any imperfections. Don't use a wet rag on this, just make sure that that dust is gone. If you do have to use a, a damp rag to make sure all that dust is gone, don't try to put this on right away because the surface has to be completely dry. Then it really is as easy as peeling this off, sticking it on there. When you're ready to start tiling, you just peel this first layer off and start going to town. You could actually just take a, a pen or a, a, a dark marker and draw out your pattern on this wall. So if we need to, if your pattern is really intricate or you just need a level line, put your line up there and follow it right through the paper. It's completely transparent, so you'll be able to see right through it. A roll cost how much? $32. $32. So for this section right here, and I think it's 15, 15, um, 15 square feet. So it, you get a good amount of, of uh, product there for that price, but you don't need mortar anymore. You don't need to get a trowel. You don't need mortar. You don't need to figure out how much to put down, how much to apply on the wall. You just put this on and start tiling. And then you can just put your grout right on there. But this will be holding it up and it is strong. Something important to remember that Scott did not mention is that if you're using a wet saw when you're doing this, you cannot put moist or wet tiles up on the muscle bound. So there are a couple hacks you can do to prevent any issues with that. One, you could just do what we're doing and use a manual saw instead of a wet saw but if you have complicated cuts and you need to use a wet saw you can go ahead and put your oven on warm or grab a hair dryer and that'll help to dry out the tiles a lot faster um, so that you can still use the muscle bound um, another thing to consider is that the muscle bound comes with its own spacers so you do not have to worry about using traditional spacers because it comes with its own spacers All right, that was surprisingly easy and really fun. I've never tiled a backsplash without using mortar before, so I'm gonna give you guys a list of pros and cons right now. Okay, let's talk about cons now. First, let's talk about price. If you're on a strict budget, you might look elsewhere. Muscle Bound is $35 for 15 square feet of adhesive. If you compare that with the pre-mixed Acryl Pro, a $54, gallon, or a $54 bucket will get you about 200 square feet of coverage. That's about 27 cents a square foot. If you break this down, you're looking at about $2 and 20 cents a square foot. So it's a pretty big difference here. If you have a giant job, you don't want to use this. You're just going to be spending way too much uh, unless you need that nice, neat, mess-free atmosphere. 
This could make it really difficult to do an intricate pattern because you can't slide the tile around. When it's on, it's on, and it's strong. You're not moving it around. Even pulling it off is gonna be a, a, a little bit of a tough task. All right, there is a little bit of waste here. When we got to the end of the roll, it's kind of like um, the last roll, the last bit of tape on the end of a roll. Um, you got about six to eight inches here that, if you look, it's stuck. It's stuck on the, uh, the cardboard. So you might as well just throw out the, the uh, last six inches of that. So there is a little bit of waste here. One of the biggest things is that your surface must be dry, really smooth and dry. Uh, wet tiles, they have to be dry before you put them on. That's not even an option. They will not stick to this. A wet tile will not stick. When you're using thin set on the wall or like a pre-mixed mortar, you have the ability to leave little chunks on the wall. That mortar is going to create a little bit of a gap uh, and allow you to leave some small types of imperfections um, like unsanded spackle or unsmooth caulk, an occasional screw that didn't totally make its way into the drywall. Uh, with this, you're going to see every little imperfection. I'm actually going to let Lauren do the pros since she's more the cup kind of full part of this relationship. So take it away. Okay, guys, I know that Scott just went over all the negatives, uh, the things that he was apprehensive about, and maybe the negatives in general with using muscle balance. But I'm going to very quickly give you the positives, which I think way outweigh the negatives of this product. So number one, there's no mess with this product. Like that was the biggest thing. We have a almost finished kitchen with new appliances and a fresh floor. And so the idea of not having mortar is a huge deal. I didn't have to worry about it dripping or anything like that because there's literally no mess at all. Also, no downtime, zero downtime at all. So I could grout right away if I wanted to. I don't have to wait for the mortar to dry, which is huge if you're, huge if you're on a time crunch. We weren't, but um, it just was helpful to me in knowing that if I wanted to grow out right away, I could. Um, and you don't have to buy spacers or a trowel or buckets or anything like that. It actually comes with spacers. It doesn't replace in my book, like uh, tiling a floor or tiling a shower, especially when you're doing a you know, renovation with construction. If it's messy, uh, I say go for it. Use the old school method. If you're doing a small tile project in a space that is almost finished and you don't want to worry about the mess, this is definitely a go-to product in my book. All right, don't be fooled. Just because it may seem like the cons might have outweighed the, the pros here, it doesn't mean that I don't like it. Quite the opposite, actually. I think this product is great. Uh, muscle bound is perfect for the smaller jobs like backsplashes um, or accent areas. I'm not sure about fireplaces or bathrooms. I know people who have done videos on that. Uh, I'm just not sure if I like the idea of, of heat and heavy moisture around this. It's adhesive. So over time, I'm just not sure if it's going to last. If anyone out there has done those type of projects and you've had great success, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear if you've had nightmare stories about this too. Musclebound did not pay for this video. They are not sponsoring us. So if there is a problem with this, I'd like to know. I'd like to relay that to you guys so that you don't make uh, a mistake by spending your weekend tiling somewhere or something that is going to end up failing in the long run. I probably left out a bunch of details here, but overall, very impressed. The simplicity of this cannot be stressed enough. We didn't have to get the kitchen all messy. We didn't have to put away our coffee maker or cover the countertops. We didn't have to do any of that. We actually tiled this alcove during the second half of a football game. So after the prep, it was about less than an hour. Um, to do a six and a half by three and a half foot section. So not bad at all. You can do it. It is a one of a kind kitchen with a one of a kind alcove. So if you're not subscribed to this channel already, what are you waiting for? Boop that like button and hit the subscribe button with the little bell that allows us to push out uh, videos and you get notified right when they get posted. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Look at that. One video, my beard's already coming in. Kind of like, uh, maybe next video I'll look like Bob Beal or something? Uh, no. Or Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson? Oh, yeah. Is that your style? I love him. Okay. I'm Ron Swanson, and you're Leslie <laughs> Nope.